Hi, Alex Forte here, co-creator of the Simple Senior Swing Program. And I've got a video that's gonna share a really cool way that's gonna drastically reduce your injuries and actually give you 10, 20, maybe 30 more yards, especially if you're over 50. Now, usually this is reserved for senior swing members, but we've decided to release this to the public just for a limited time. And by the way, if you like this tip, just stick around to the end of the video where you're actually gonna get, get a lot more tips and drills and insights just like this and on what website we share them on. Without further ado, here's the clip. Okay. Now, if you had a, a simple way to think about it, if I had a hammer, and I wanted to nail a nail one shot into a board, mm -hmm. I wouldn't exactly take it back a couple of inches and force it down. Mm -hmm. I'd take it back and really feel the weight of the instrument tag that nail, especially if I have to do that all day. Yeah. Now, if I was a lumberjack, now the green lumberjack is gonna grab the ax and yank it around like a pit bull with a rag doll, and he'll be wasted in about a half an hour. Yeah. And so the seasoned lumberjack who's laughing at him is going to use the weight of his axe to deliver the blow. Now we're going to do two things here. Number one, for those of you who've got floating eyes, um, this is going to serve you extremely, extremely well. So if I had, let's say, notice I have a ball on a tee here. See this tee? It's like a little twig. So I get set up with a six pound axe. Well, there's no way that little twig is going to stop the weight of the axe. So when I take the weight of the ax and I heave it into the backswing, I would never heave it behind me, would I? No. I'm not gonna do that twice anyways. No. I would never heave it away from me and allow the ax to take out my front leg. Like a scene of, from Game of Thrones or something. That's right. <laughs> I wouldn't heave the ax straight up to shave bark down the tree. That's no. not gonna get any work accomplished. I'm gonna take the weight of the ax and I'm gonna heave it back in a way that's gonna allow me to cut through the twig. There's only one place for that and that's here. Now notice how my body moved out of the way, because if I don't move the body and I heave the ax, I'm, I'm going to knock myself all over again. Exactly. Yeah. So when I heave the ax, the body glides out of the way, and now I can use the weight of the ax to cut through that tee beautifully. See, what's extraordinary and what I really hope people see is the simplicity in this, that there's not one jot in Sean's brain thinking about where he needs to put his uh, when he's to put his Could body, you, his legs, his arms. Imagine a lumberjack going, oh, make sure the axe is in the right place yeah. here, right? Am, am I on plane with my axe? That I mean, guy's dead before the day's yeah. over. Yeah. All right? So I see the stem or the twig in my mind's eye that's below. So my eyes are actually between the club and the ball, and I can see the leading edge of my club ready to cut through that tee. I feel the weight of the axe. I heave the axe and I use the weight of the ax to cut through that twig, and look at that ball go. So, welcome back. If you found this drill useful, and you want more drills, techniques, and insights about how you can improve your accuracy, confidence, distance, without hurting your body, you need to check out the Senior Simple Swing Program. Just click on the video in the link in the description below, and I will see you there. Thanks.